Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see in this video how to install Kali Linux on VMware and uh, it will be the latest version of Kali of course. So let's start with it. Install Kali Linux on VMware. First of all, we are going to open our browser and download the ISO file, the, the image of Kali. So just open your favorite browser and type in Kali Linux. And I will just type in, and I will see the first website is Kali.org. So if you see that website too, then that's the official website of Kali Linux. Just navigate to downloads. So there are too many images here, as you can see. They are around six or eight images. So these are the net installers. They are the command line interface. They are not the graphical interface. And as you can see, their size is too small too. They, this one is 430 MB. And that's with, not what we wanted. And we want 64 bit and 32 bit installer, which is a graphical interface. So the version is updated and they are the latest latest version of 2020 so we are going to download from these two and now we have to identify which one to download so we can identify by you know knowing our system type so i'll just go to pc uh, if you're using windows so we just go to pc and click right click on it and just go to properties and you must see system type 64 bit system into six based into 64 base processor so if you are having 32 bit operating system then you may find it here but i am having 64 bit so i get to know i'm going to download this image not this one so click on it and it's, it will install the download for you when i have already downloaded it so step is to download the vmware workstation 5.5 pro or if you are having something else like VMware Player 15, so that would work as well. But I recommend to use Workstation 15.5 Pro. So you can download that by going into the link, link in the description below. And it's around somewhere around 500 MB. So just download it and install it. That's quite simple, I think. So after that, you have, after you have installed it, open it click on create a new virtual machine and you may see a screen like this of course so it's a home screen and just create uh, click on create a new virtual machine and it's typical it's recommended so we'll just choose this configuration type and we'll just click next and it's asking us to install uh, install a disk image so that's the thing we have downloaded just download so browse it and just give it where have you downloaded that ISO file of Kali Linux and just click next and then it's going to ask you what is the operating system so click on Linux and just click on version and go to dra scroll down and say that other Linux 5.x or later kernel 64-bit. So if you are having 32-bit ins uh, installer, you, if you have downloaded 32-bit, then do this one, the second option, just below it. So I'm going to do 64-bit one. So just click on that and I click next. And name this virtual machine, of course. I will name it Kali Linux test and great so i'll just leave it as it is and i will just click next and it will ask uh, the capacity of the disk image and not not the disk image sorry but the disk capacity of that operate in that operating system so i just gave it 100 gb you can give more i don't know it depend upon you so it will, it's asking us that it split virtual disk into multiple files and I don't want that. I want it to store as a single file. So I'll just click next. And I will see machine is ready to be created but I'm going to customize it. Some 
you know, hardware things in it, and I'll just then finish it. So I'll just give it a RAM of 4 GB. That's what I recommend. So it it depends upon your computer. If you're having me you know, a 16 GB, then you can give 8 GB too, but not not above than 8 GB because it's a maximum maximum recommended memory. So uh yeah it will it should work well with 4 gb i think and i might go at 16 gb but not going to specify that much and i will just say that a number of processors too and total core processors too and i'm just giving it four processors and a new cd dvd id i don't want to change me don't want to make any changes and it's a network adapter which will use our host IP address means Ethernet and USB controller is right sound card, uh, sound card is all right everything is all right I think and I'm just going go in display and accelerate the graphics and it's asking is graphic memory so you may specify anything here if you having a dedicated graphic card then you can I specify 1 GB, 768 7, MB, anything you want. But if you're having an integrated uh, means graphic card, then you must not specify above 128 MB because it's the maximum value of that integrated graphic card. So for me, it's recommended 768 MB. Then I'm going to click on that and I'll just close it. And let's finish this. It will create a new virtual machine for us. Now you may see a screen like this and you can see the state of this virtual machine is powered off. You can see the configuration file is located in this directory and hardware compatibility is this and all everything will see you this. So just click on power on this virtual machine and it will power on the virtual machine for us. So click on graphical install. Just hit enter by clicking in it and it will take up some time to boot up and there we go we got a screen for selecting a language so I'll just select English and continue and again I will select a location it's asking for us our location so I'm just going to specify United Kingdom and after that I'm going to click on continue and configure the keyboard it asking us to configure the keyboard so I'm going to specify British English and I'm going to click continue and it's going to do some stuff and detect mount installation media so it's doing s loading something so it's configuring the network now it's attempting to configure the network itself so if it will it will do it itself if your PC is connected to network means the host and it's saying the host name so I will just leave it as default so it's Kali so I'll just continue it again and I'll just I don't want any domain name so if you want any you can put it here I don't want so I'll just click continue and it will ask for our full name so I'll just give it my full name which is not this actually but I'm just typing this so I'll just click continue again and my username will be the same as well so click continue again and you may see a screen like this for typing passwords so I'm just giving it passwords and then I'm again going to click continue then it will detect the disks and partition the disk for us and it will ask us to, to install guided partitioning a disk and using it so you can read it here so actually it's recommended for new users to do guided use entire disk not to set up anything here and I will just click continue again and this partition here is the our partition means so 100 GB partition so I'll just click continue again and so it's asking us all files in one partition recommended for new users separate home partition war temp so i'll just do uh, in one partition yeah 
it's recommended for new users it's written here as well so I'll just click continue again and it will ask us finish partnership and write changes to disks and I'll, if I do undo changes to partitions then it's going to reset everything and if I see uh, say finish partnership then it will write changes to disk and it will confirm again so I'll just say yes now it will partition the disks so it's in installing the base system now and it will take up some time I'll, let's give it some time so it's now asking us to configure the package manager so it's asking for proxy information so if you don't have any so leave it a blank and just click continue again and it will configure the package manager and that proxy is not you know compulsory so it's now installing select and install software thing so it's retrieving file for that so we just sit back and let it do what it's doing After it's done, uh, it will ask you to select the software you want to install. So, this is the desktop environment XFCE. This is the default Kali desktop environment. So, I recommend for new users to choose this. And it's chosen actually by default. I haven't chosen yet. So, and collection of tools selecting this item, ha item has no effect. And this one also have no effect whether you select it or not so the top 10 and the these the top most popular tools will be installed in it and the default recommend tools will be installed in it if you check in this and if you check in this too then it will you know install a large collection additional tools so so I don't recommend these to select because these are all the desktop environments so just click next or retrieve files of those software softwares and unpack them so it will take up some time so again you have to sit back grab bootloader on a hard disk and you have to say yes so let's continue and it, it will ask us the location for that so we'll just give it slash dev slash sda and we'll just click continue again and it will just install the grub bootloader it's finishing the installation now and we are done uh, after that and we'll just restart the computer I means not the computer but the virtual machine virtual machine which is called linux After the installation is complete, it will show you that the finish the installation. Then you have to still click on continue, and it will finish the installation, and it will ask you to restart the system, and it will itself restart it. And you have to click on Kali JNU Linux. Just click on that, and it will re reboot your system. Not your system, but the virtual machine again. Here we go. So maybe you have to click on this. I finished installing. So just click on that. So it looked like this and yeah, it's great. We have successfully installed Kali Linux. So it depends upon, you may have a different in, uh, desktop environment. It depends upon the desktop environment you have chosen while installing the the software means the call it next so it depends on that so you may find it different and if you want to install the VMware tools you can go in VM uh, in the tab above and you can just say install VMware tools but VMware tools are installed already so I don't need to install them
that's it guys you have just installed the color mix installation and that's it what you have to do so thank you for watching subscribe to my channel uh, so that you can get the videos like this and don't forget to give it a like if it helped you and of course share it thank you very much see you in the next video